I'm just coming from my mom's. Listen, I really, really, really wish I could just be in a perfect, not even perfect, semi-perfect position that I could be able to move my mom with me. It is like the worst feeling in the world to, oh, it's almost like my mom's, like my mom's able to live on her own, but it's just like little things that it will be an awesome suggestion if she had someone to live with. Oh, I know I'm always talking vague in my videos. Um, even when you think I'm like spilling all the beans, trust me, I'm not. But, oh, I just really, really, really wish me and my siblings, yes, I wish we were more unified. Yes, I wish that our relationships were a lot better. But how about this? Even if they weren't, can we come together for mommy? Like, seriously, there's five of us. I don't mind being exhausted for my mom, but being double exhausted because no one else really wants to step up and just see about her, it's just five kids, you have one parent left, Things should be so smooth. They should. And I'm just so disappointed in my siblings. I am. I'm not mad. I'm not bitter anymore like I used to. Thank you, Jesus. Because before you, before you hate, you're very bitter. It's almost like you're disappointed. You're shocked and disappointed. Then you're, you know, you're bothered. You're irritated, you're mad, bitter than this hate. Honey, I was like, I think I was already at hate. But I'm so glad God delivered me from all those steps. But I'm just really disappointed that, um, like, my mom's 76. Like, mommy, is she 76? Is she 76 or 77? I stopped counting at 73. Um, but let Jared tell it. You know, he knows. Um, seriously, I'm just so bummed. Like, things could and should just be running so much smoother. Oh, it's like, everyone doesn't love mommy. Like, you have one parent left, and it's not like my mom was a bad mom. And I'm not even saying it because I'm, I mean, I'm the closest one to her. Yeah, but still, like... I don't care what if my siblings say. I mean, I may not know everything from A to Z, but everybody panned out okay. I mean, there's no reason. How about it scriptural? How about that? You know, honor thy father, my honor, respect. Come on. Just see about mommy. Just things could just be a lot different it could and I'm just like God why 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 oh that's my you know that's like family goals God bless me like ab above measure financially I could just pick up my mom and just move um she want to go back to Atlanta. That's where she's from. And the only way, you know, the only way she'd do it if she knew, like, I could totally, you know, take care of her just moving to a complete different, you know, part of the, the states. But I would. I mean, I think yours is a little too hot, but, you know, she's used to that. But to make her happy, you know what? My mom wouldn't even care, you know, because it's like... As long as we're together. That's even her mindset. So, um, okay, I'm sorry. Just find somewhere to take my mom, me, her, and Jared, and just be gone. 
you don't understand. My mom is like amazing. She drives me crazy sometimes, but it's like just senior citizen drive you crazy. But besides that, she is like a kingdom mother, mother zen, prayer warrior, praying woman. I mean, my mother is just like disgustingly amazing. She is. So it's like if she hurts, I hurt. to cry so I'm going to go but pray for my mommy pray for things to pan out um, I'm just trying to make things smooth my mom's not dying or anything like that praise be to God but you know in her her old age things should just be a lot different a lot better like seriously so oof Alrighty, I'm off to pick up Jared. Um, treat him to a bag to eat. He has practice at church tonight from 6 to 9. Well, it's really from 6 to 10, but I pick him up at 9. Oh, Lord, help me today. Alrighty, you guys. Thank you so much, so much, so much. Oh, so much. Um, for watching and praying for me in that situation. I just love my mommy cakes, that's all. Take care of your parents if they're still living, seriously. I don't care if they're both alive, you're blessed. If it's one living, you better really see about them. In all facets. But, if it's not in you, it won't come out. Yeah, so I guess that's the hurtful part. Seeing people for who they are. It's just like, wow. You know, you don't see about your own mom. Like, no wonder why your sibling relationship will never come to pass. Oh, Jesus. Be a fence. All right, you guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All righty. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, and please pray continuously for me and my mom. God can just set us up, set me up, so I can really, really take care of my mom like the kingdom woman that she is and she deserves. Thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. I'm sorry for, because I felt my voice cracking. You know, like when you're about to cry, and it's like, Ugh. but that's how I feel about my mom. You know, she's done so much for so many people. And, you know, I'm half my mom, half my dad, you know, but it's, I'm done. All right, you guys, um, God bless you. Have a good day, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow again. Thank you so much for listening, but most importantly, praying. Thank you. Bye-bye.